we have our CS5. So we issued an update to CS5. So if you don't already have multi-screen authoring a button inside of your Dreamweaver, you can use the updater and get it, which works really great now. We made updater work really well in CS5. I don't know if you've used it. Um, so here I've got a website, and I can go view it inside of a browser. And again, this site is the same uh, regardless of size. Now I'd like to make that change automatically. So I'm going to go back here to Dreamweaver, press this multi-screen button, and you can see I get a three-up display of a small, medium, and large layout. And right now they're all the same. But I can add some media queries. And media queries is part of HTML5 and CSS3, where I can define uh, different CSS files I want to use based on dimensions or other criteria you want to use on your website. So here I'm going to say for things up to 700 pixels, I will use my small CSS file. And for medium-sized things, I'll use my medium CSS. And then I'll just use my standard layout for desktop. And you can see it updates the display now. It's the same HTML code, but just by skinning it with CSS, you can see the layout is different. Even the menu on top, these menu buttons are now laid out vertically rather than horizontally. And you can see the, the content uh, is actually not present here. I have to click through on mobile. Uh, so you're able to control what is appearing, how it's appearing, and the skinning of it very easily now. And if I go back here in Dreamweaver, you can see that uh, even in live preview, you can see it's been skinned here. And here's the CSS. So basically, we've just added now very simple media queries for max width to pick this CSS file. And then here's the other width I added in this one. And in Dreamweaver, if I, if I zoom this over, you can see it will also change in live preview here um, between the different websites' content. And I can preview that in the browser as well.